so hello students uh, today we will discuss about a different topic now uh, you all know about the chemistry of pyrrole now uh, this is your pyrrole now what is the structure the structure of pyrrole is now this is the simple structure of pyrrole now whenever a uh, substitution at three position as you know this is your three five member ring uh, with nitrogen now whenever three position means this carbon is replaced by another nitrogen atom then t is termed as imidazole now this is your structure of imidazole now uh, today our topic is chemistry of imidazole now whenever we one go for the history of imidazole uh, the first thing we have to know the name um, of imidazole is uh, first coined at uh, in the year of 1887 in the year of 1887 it is first coined now by the which chemist that is your the great german chemist german chemist is there now the name of the chemist is arthur rudolf now the name is arthur rudolf arthur rudolf is actually coined the name uh, imidazole in the year of 9 1887 now what is the chemistry as you know the in structure of imidazole uh, three position this is the position three uh, just like the pyrrole this is your position three uh, this is your one and this is your two it contains the nitrogen so if we uh, focus on the structure of the imidazole as you know it is actually a five member this is your one two three four and this is your five five uh, membered het aromatic heterocyclic compound obviously this is an aromatic compound as you know all the heterocyclic compounds are mm, aromatic except the uh, saturated ones that means the reduced product of pyridine pyrrole pyrrolidine these are the uh, non aromatic compound but imidazole is your one of the example of aromatic heterocyclic compound now uh, pyrrole uh, one of the derivative of pyrrole that is imidazole now what is the molecular formula from the structure we know uh, number of nitrogen is one uh, actually one and two two nitrogens are present and the number of carbon is one two and three so uh, what will be the molecular formula molecular formula of pyrrole is uh, c3 into and h4 because one two three and four hydrogen is there one uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 hydrogen is there that is why the molecular formula is C3N2 H4 now it is uh, classified as diazole because two nitrogens are there as you can see this is your one nit one position and this is your nit second nitrogen that is why all the imido imidazoles are uh, diazoles imidazoles are actually diazoles now when fused to pyrimidine ring it forms the purine as you know the chemistry of the purine so whenever uh, pyrimidine is there plus uh, sorry imidazole then they form the purine ring actually the fused structure of uh, purine uh, it causes the two chemical structure that is one is your pyrimidine and second one is your imidazole 
now many drugs contain this uh, specific imidazole ring uh, such as nitroimidazole which is an antifungal agent and for the if we want to discuss about the chemistry then we will focus on the tautomerism as imidazole is a planar five membered ring and it exists in two equivalent two equivalent tautomeric forms for imidazole is possible two equivalent tautomeric forms are possible now if we want to focus on the properties of imidazole so first of all it is and if we want to focus on properties then uh, the first point will be it is an um, sorry it is a highly polar highly polar compound remember it is highly polar compound and the second property it is uh, soluble in water it is soluble in water now the third properties uh, as you know it is an aromatic compound it is an aromatic compound so these are the three properties highly polar compound soluble in water and aromatic highly polar pyro uh, imidazole is highly polar soluble in water and it is an aromatic compound now if we want to focus on the other properties it is an amphoteric uh, that it can functions as both acid and as an base uh, so it is one of the property that is it is amphoteric that is both acid and base uh, it act as both acid and a base that is why it is an amphoteric compound so uh, in this uh, small portion introductory portion the first of all we discuss about the name of imidazole which is coined in the year of 1887 by the german scientist arthur rudolf hans and uh, this is actually a derivative of imidazole this is actually a derivative of imidazole because three position of the uh, derivative of pyrrole because three position of the pyrrole is replaced um, if contain a nitrogen substitution instead of carbon then it pyrrole will be a imidazole ring and it is an aromatic as because two nitrogens are present that is why it is your diazole and the molecular formula of imidazole is C3N2H4 and these are the properties among them it is highly polar compound soluble in water and aromatic and it shows the amphoteric character and it is also present in purine whenever pyrimidine ring along with imidazole ring it produces the structure purine now here uh, our second topic for today's class is synthesis synthesis of imidazole structures as well as imidazole derivatives so whenever we want to synthesize uh, imidazole ring there are uh, several categories are there among them the first synthesis of imidazole we have to synthesize imidazole the name of the synthesis or the reaction is radziz zweski synthesis and then uh, carefully pronounce the name that is red radzis zeweski z e w s k i radzis zeweski synthesis radzis zeweski synthesis and the second we will discuss about uh, from imidazolin radzis zeweski synthesis then from imidazolin and then we will perform the synthesis from alpha haloketone from alpha haloketone 
and now the these are the first three synthesis the first one is your uh, Radzewski synthesis and then it is uh, from imidazoline and then it is from alpha haloketone so the fourth synthesis we have to perform the, that is your Wallach synthesis the name is Wallach Wallach synthesis is there and the fifth we will discuss about the Markwald synthesis this is the simple one that is Markwald synthesis now we will focus mainly on this five synthesis first one is your red z uh, red synthesis then from imidazoline third one is from alpha haloketone and fourth one is from wallet synthesis and fifth one is from markwald synthesis so now we will focus on the first one that is your uh, red z synthesis Radzis Zewski uh, synthesis. So it involves the condensation of dicarbonyl compound, dicarbonyl compound such as glyoxal. Uh, it involves the condensation of dicarbonyl. Now, as you all know, this is your uh, carbonyl group. Uh, this is your carbonyl group. Now, dicarbonyl means this is your carbonyl group dicarbonyl means there should be two carbonyl group should be there now uh, it involves the condensation of dicarbonyl compounds such as glyoxal now with, with the aldehyde and in the presence of obviously ammonia so for this reaction um, we take the compound that is uh, you can take uh, this is your phenyl ring this is example of one of the dicarbonyl compound now whenever it reacts with in the presence of ammonia this is NH3 plus any aldehyde or ketone you may take benzaldehyde for this reaction now this is your aldehyde or ketone is there whenever uh, three of this react in radzis zewski synthesis radzis zewski synthesis produces imidazole actually imidazole derivative uh, should be there so it produces triphenyl imidazole derivative the second this is your second fourth and fifth position of the ring that is your imidazole ring should contain the phenyl structure so this is your third position first and uh, first and third position contain the nitrogen and two fourth and fifth position of this compound should contain the phenyl ring so name of the compound is 245 triphenyl imidazole 245 triphenyl imidazole so if we want to summarize that if of rad z zewski synthesis at first we have to take some dicarbonyl compound as there are uh, two carbonyl groups are there that is C double bond O and this is another carbonyl group that is why it is a dicarbonyl compound in the presence of ammonia and in the presence of any aldehyde that is benzaldehyde it is converted into imidazole ring obviously not the simple unsubstituted imidazole it always produces a substituted imidazole that is 245 triphenyl imidazole is synthesized by this rad z zewski synthesis of imidazole red z zewski synthesis of imidazole 
produces the substituted derivative of imidazole. So the next reaction we will discuss that uh, uh, that is from imidazoline from imidazoline to imidazole. This is the main theory of this synthesis that is from imidazoline to imidazole. Now uh, to perform this reaction at first we have to uh, take ethane diamine uh, now what is the formula this is your simple structure of ethane diamine that is uh, instead of CH3 CH3 uh, both the hydrogens are uh, replaced by this two amine group and now this is the structure of ethane diamine whenever this compound react with whenever this compound react with any any cyanide alkyl nitriles or you can say cyanide so what is the formula that is this is your alkyl nitriles this is your specific alkyl group and this is your nitrile so alkyl nitrile when react with ethane diamine obviously in the presence of any reagent that is ba mnO4 now if K, uh, KMnO4 that is potassium permanganate now this is your barium permanganate this is the reagent whenever they react they actually produces a structure ring structure actually now this is your imidazoline ring as uh, the fifth and fourth position of the carbon the double bond uh, for imidazole there is a double bond but it is saturated so that is why it is named as imidazoline now whenever uh, uh, in the presence of barium uh, permanganate this imidazoline ring in the in this imidazoline ring in the presence of barium permanganate is converted into imidazole now this is the simple reaction where imidazoles are synthesized now this is your imidazole from imidazoline obviously in the presence uh, whenever uh, one is ammonia elimination of ammonia is there that is whenever ethane diamine react with alkyl nitriles ammonia molecule is eliminated and finally we get the imidazoline ring this is your imidazoline now in the presence of barium permanganate imidazoline converted into imidazole ring now we will go for the next one uh, that is from alpha halo ketone this is the next one from alpha halo ketone This is your alpha from next synthesis from alpha halo ketone. Now, uh, this reaction uh, the, from alpha halo ketone, whenever we want to synthesize the imidazole, uh, this reaction involves an interaction between an imidine and alpha halo ketone. Reaction of imidine, remember. imidine should be there plus alpha halo ketone these two reagents are mandatory for this reaction that is from alpha halo ketone so whenever we want to synthesize the imidazoline derivative now take any of the alpha halo ketone This is actually acetophenone but one of the hydrogen is replaced by the bromine moiety so that is why uh, this is an one halogen is replaced at the alpha position of this ketone group so that is why this is your alpha halo ketone now whenever this ketone reacts with imidine derivative actually this 
this is your imidine derivative remember uh, elimination of bromine that is minus br and as well as elimination of water water and bromine whenever eliminated from this reaction they actually produces a, a imidazole structure but it is also a substituted imidazole the two position of the imidazole contain the phenyl moiety as well as the fourth position of the imidazole contain the phenyl moiety so these are the two substituents present in the imidazole ring so in this section we will discuss we, we already discussed about two things that is from the imidazoline to imidazole and second thing is from alpha haloketone to imidazole derivative